It was a heck of a speech, but how did he dream it up? On Wednesday the 28th of August 1963, a Baptist minister from Atlanta, Georgia delivered one of the great speeches of the 20th century. At only 34 years of age, Martin Luther King Jr. had already established a reputation as a courageous civil rights leader with his powerful brand of non-violent civil disobedience. He was invited to speak alongside a lineup of fellow civil rights leaders at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. as part of the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, which was a vast civil rights march attended by 250,000 people. He was given a four minute slot at the end of the day, which was apparently available because the other speakers thought that the camera crews and the crowds would have packed up and left by then. Thankfully, this wasn't the case, and Martin Luther King's speech was delivered to a packed audience and was broadcast live on television and radio. His speech actually lasted 17 minutes and called for an end to racism and invoked the Declaration of Independence as well as the US Constitution. And towards the end of his speech, a gospel singer who had performed earlier that day called Mahalia Jackson called out, and I'm not going to try and do her accent, tell them about the Dream Martin, which was a reference to a speech he had given two months previously in Detroit. He departed from his prepared speech and delivered an improvised closing section around the now legendary refrain, I have a dream. His speech is now held as a masterpiece of public speaking, and perhaps the most mind-blowing thing about it is that Martin Luther King Jr. made it up on the spot. So the next time you have to give a speech in public and you want it to be one of the greatest speeches of all time, perhaps the best advice is to just wing it. Now last week I promised that the person who left the best mind-blowing fact in the comments section would receive these spectacular Happy New Year glasses. There were some fantastic entries, thank you very much for your comments. And here are my favourite three in reverse order. In joint third place, Anne History and Top Hat, with their facts about wars that lasted for an incredibly long period of time due to diplomatic irregularities. There are actually a few of these examples. I found a Wikipedia page about them and I put them in the video description. Well done. In second place, we have A Turtle Gamer with his extraordinary fact about a bohemian king who went into battle tied to a horse. I had no idea about this, but I googled it, and you're absolutely right. I think you're talking about King John in the Battle of Cressy. I found an amazing grisly article about it, and I've linked to it in the video description. Very well done. And in first place, winner of these spectacular glasses is Praful Alamrajou. Praful's fact is about King Ramses the Great, the Egyptian pharaoh, who was issued an Egyptian passport in 1974 when his mummy was flown to France. Furthermore, he received full military honours when he arrived in France, befitting of a king. So there you go, fantastic fact, and I've linked to an article about that in the video description. Very well done, Praful. So thank you very much for watching. Please do continue to put your mind-blowing facts in the comments below, and there will be another prize next week. I can't tell you what it is, top secret, but there will be one. Ooh, exciting. Oh, and uh, later this month, we're releasing a new one-take video.